Hey guys, so this is a tutorial on the with the BH um, Cosmetics Foil Eyes. It's 28 colors in this palette. I've heard some of these colors actually dupe Makeup Geek Foil um, Eye Colors. There's a few in here. Um, I, I'll try to find the tutorials that I've seen and I'll, I'll link those down below. Um, I don't own any of those so I, I can't show you, but um, I love this palette. It's so cool. So many good colors. I definitely have to step out of my comfort zone with this palette. I don't normally use true co like color colors eyes, colored eyes. And so this was kind of fun for me, but when I put this blue on, I was like, woo, got a little nervous, but I love the way it turned out. Um, I actually, it's actually inspired off of a picture I saw on Instagram um, using this palette, and I wanted, I loved it so much, I wanted to recreate it, and I love the way it turned out. It looks so pretty, I think. And um, these uh, eyeshadows are highly pigmented, of course. There is going to be fallout with them because they are foiled. I mean, a highly pigmented shadow, you're pretty much going to have some fallout, so you just can't have it both ways. So... I hope you like it. Um, thumbs up if you do. Leave me comments and subscribe. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. And uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll catch on. Uh, just the same thing with the uh, priming the eyes with the Maybelline Adria Wine Concealer. Um, nothing's really different. Warm it up with the fingers and blend it out really smooth. And then we're going to set that with the Carly Bible Palette, the very top shade. I love that shade for... Um, just an uh, um, eyeshadow primer. Then we're going to go in with this color um, to for the crease and just focusing that in. We're really going to build that crease color up with this look because I wanted it super like blended with the blues and the um, kind of that um, caramel color. Um, sorry guys, <laughs> I felt so bad. I, I was looking around, I couldn't find, I needed that color that specific color and I only have it in that Morphe palette and I'm so sorry I know it's out of stock but um, any kind of caramel color would work for that crease part and then I'm going to go back in it again very uh, gently and just keep kind of buffing that out um, and really building it up I think it's going to help it make it look just super blended from both the colors since they're kind of a drastic change um, and I'll let y'all know when that Morphe palette's restocked then we're going to go in with the Maybelline Expert Wear Shadow in Earthly Taupe. And I'm going to put that in that space kind of between the brow bone and then that darker color we have. Um, again, just to kind of make it like a smooth transition from the light, light, light shade to that Morphe color and then into the blues. Then we're going to go with this smudge brush and the palette. We're going to go with that deep, deep navy blue. And I was like freaking out when I was like, I'm going to make this, I'm going to do this, recreate this. I was so nervous, but I think it turned out really good. Um, so we're just going to focus that color in the corner and just really, really packing it on and um, focusing first, almost like we're going to do a smoky eye, just more in the V. And then just really take your time with these colors and build them up. Um, and just, I mean, just you're going to have to take your time. I think that's the biggest thing with any type of color, deep, dark color like this. Then we're going to go in with that electric blue. And we're going to put that on the um, middle of the eye just to kind of give it some transition and um, just pack it on. Just push that smudge brush, that flat brush, um, onto your lid and just pack it. I think it gives it the best um, bang for your buck on that shadow. And see here, I'm just like really patting that product on. Um, and I kind of did it in slow motion for y'all so you could see it a little bit better. But I think this deep blue to that light blue in the middle, I think it gives it really a neat kind of look to it. Almost like a denim in a weird way. It's, it's, it was, I thought it turned out really cool. We're going to go back in again with the dark blue and um, focus that on the inner corner more towards the inner corner. Um, again, you're just going to have to keep packing these colors. They are very pigmented, but I just think to really keep it um, cohesive and easy to blend, you just want to take your time with it. Um, you don't want to go in and just go crazy. <clears throat> and then again with this one, but we're going to focus that more on the inner corner, and we're going to wet our brush with the um, finishing spray from NYX. That way we can really get a high impact. Now that we kind of have that base set, now we want to start getting that true 
foil look of it. Um, so you do want to wet your brush um, with the product on the eyeshadow brush. And then again, <laughs> and just keep doing that until you kind of get the look you're, you're wanting to go for. You could keep going and get it even more metallic and more foiled. Um, and I did it with all, basically all three parts of the eye that I'm focusing on. So the outer corner, the middle, and then more of that inner V. And then now you want to take the br a small, small brush, a clean brush, and buff that out and up to kind of blend it out with those two colors. Then I'm going to go back in again with that um, color, with a Morphe color, uh, the brown, and kind of reapply it where we lost some of it from blending, um, and then just kind of focus it on the top. And don't bring it down. Then we're going to take the tip off like we usually do and be sure to clean up underneath your eye and your uh, waterline as best you can because that does kind of have some fallout. So we're going to take a, the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush and the very top white shade and we're going to highlight our eyebrow bone or uh, the, yeah the eyebrow bone and I thought it looked so good and was so like just bam it was a perfect touch to this eye really needed a very highlighted eyebrow bone to make everything just really stand out. I'm going to take a little dance break right there. So now we're going to do our eyeliner, mascara, and lashes off camera. And now that I have them on, we're going to tight line with the Maybelline uh, Master Precision Skinny Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. It stays on so good and it's the perfect touch. We're actually going to color correct today with the NYX Dark Circle Concealer um, in orange. Oh no, in deep. I'm sorry. In deep. And you're just going to take a concealer brush, a small brush, and, and put that in where your dark circles are and just focus it just right there. You don't want to bring it down like you would the rest of the concealer. Um, you don't want to go like all the way across the eye. Just where you're trying to color correct. And then um, I blend it out with my finger for a little bit, and then I take a beauty blender and blend it out also, just to really push that product in there. Now we're taking my favorite, <laughs> the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Foundation. And just the same thing as the other tutorials, nothing's changed there. I just rub it out a little bit with my fingers. Be sure to take it down your neck um, and towards the back of your neck too, just to make it sure it's really blended and you're not wearing a quote-unquote mask. Because you don't want it to look like that. You want it to look as natural as possible. And I just sped through this because it, I mean, you just blend it out with a damp beauty blender. <laughs> then we're going to take the Physician's Formulas Bronze Booster and the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And we're going to bronze the face. I didn't contour this time because I felt like I just really wanted the eyes to be the main focus. And they were so dark and glam. I didn't really... I don't know, I just don't want to take away from it. So it's your preference, whatever you want to do. Um, but I just didn't, I just skipped that part. And then we're going to also, of course, bronze the forehead. And I push, I pull my hairline back as tight as I can. And I really get that brush um, all the way up there. And uh, I think it just blends really well. So, of course, we're going to conceal with the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this concealer. It's so creamy and full coverage. And, of course, it's drugstore, so it's a good price. Um, I really, really love it. And the same, just V-shape as normal. The same, just pattern we're, we've been doing. Um, you can find a lot of tutorials on this um, on YouTube and pretty much everywhere. So, uh, we're going to take a damp beauty blender and blend all of that out. And really make sure, like, especially under the eye between the bronzer and the highlight and the um, concealer you want to make sure it's really blended. So we're going to take the NYX HD finishing powder in banana and set that under eye um, very well. Make sure I, I what I do is I take the beauty blender make sure I'm not creased first blend it out again and then take it take that product on the beauty blender. I used to use a brush for this uh, part but then I started using the beauty blender and I just I I've totally fell in love with the way those two work together. I think they're absolutely amazing. So I would just suggest that, just to try it if you haven't tried it before. And then I just kind of set the other areas too. 
Now we're going to take the um, Milani Baked uh, Blush and Luminoso. I just wanted a really, really simple, nice cheek, nothing too um, dark or deep. Again, I really wanted the eyes to be what popped and stood out. And this blush gives you a good um, finish. And then we're going to set the bottom of the face and kind of down towards the neck. And also I set my T-zone area just really, really lightly with the um, HD, the NYX HD finishing powder in translucent, just very lightly. Now we're going to do the inner corner um, of the eye and I'm just going to take that white with the Wet n Wild brush, kind of like we did with the brow bone, and uh, really pack that on in the inner corner focusing it, not bringing it down and not bringing it up. You just really, I just wanted it directly in the inner corner. We're going to do our waterline with the Scandal Eyes, uh, Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Eyeliner. And I just wanted to keep the waterline really clean and pretty. Um, I didn't do any shadows underneath there. I just did um, the nude liner to kind of help brighten the eyes up and keep things lighter. Then we're going to also do mascara on the waterline, of course. And this tube, see me, I have to take the product off of that wand because it's so much product when you pull that wand out. That's the only thing I don't like about that um, this L'Oreal mascara, but it's really, it is, ends up being really pretty. So I just scrape it off. It's not a big deal. But um, just a light coat on the bottom lashes. Um, and now to highlight, of course, the Carly Bible palette. We're going to take that light, light pink shade. Um, with a, a tinier brush than I have been using and we're just going to focus that on the tops of your cheekbones up around to your uh, top of your brow bone in a basically a C shape and then um, I also did it on my nose the ball of my nose and kind of blended it out and up a little bit um, <laughs> I was like my nose looks crooked <laughs> and I think it was just the way that light was hitting it at first so I just smoothed it out then, of course, the Cupid's Bow. Um, next, we're going to do our lips, and I'm going to take the NYX Lingerie um, Matte Lipstick in Lace Detail. It's a lighter, much lighter nude than I usually do, but for this look, I thought it was the perfect color. And then I'll also line my lips with a L'Oreal Colorish Lip Liner, and I'll link all this stuff down below, of course, just like always. And just be really patient with the liquid lip stick and just apply it um, nice and slow but that's it thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the BH foiled eyes palette I'll have everything linked below thumbs up if you like it please leave comments and feedback I love hearing any thoughts you guys have anything y'all want to see in the future um, yeah, so just leave it to me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all and have a great day. Bye guys.